Hi everyone, we are on the ferry on our way to Vendée in France. Um, we're on a Brittany ferry, we've just had breakfast and yeah. Uh, we are on our way to Hollybobs. Where are we going? France! Um, we're going to Vendée to Sibley Villages. I'm going to show you all about them. Oh, someone else is coming in. Hi, little dab. Get excited? Yeah. yeah. What are you looking forward to the most? Uh, Eiffel Tower. So we're not going to the Eiffel Tower. Mm. What are you looking forward to the most? Swimming pool. Swimming pool. Actually, yeah, I like the swimming, swimming pool. pool. There is a swimming pool. It looks really, really cool with lots of rides as well. Yeah, can we go first? Can we go? Mm. Can you swim? Yeah. Can you swim? Yeah. Can you that camping bed last night and thought mm, I'm not so sure that's going to be comfy but it bloody well was comfy it was lovely um everybody slept really well Toby didn't get up until just gone 10 past 8 which is legendary for Toby even if it was a bit too early say hi what did you think of your first night uh, super awesome rough. kind of rough, kind of rough. Yeah. was it was it really uh, so Edie and Ruben slept in the same bedroom and Toby had his own bedroom. Adam and I were across the hall which was quite nice because we could double off both doors, have the TV on for half an hour and then they went to sleep and it didn't disturb us um, or vice versa. Uh, and then now, where are we off now? Hey. Swimming pool! a nice French style breakfast. Um, I don't actually know if it is French style, it's what we all assume is French style, a bit like everybody thinks we all eat full English breakfast every morning, which let's be fair, smash that. Let's um, if um, bread, mm -hmm. ham, bit of cheese, yeah, good life.
today we are off to, I think it's called Noamute. I don't know how to pronounce it because we use this. But it is like a little island just off the uh, Vendi Vondi area. Um, and yeah, it looks like it's got really nice beaches all up this side and then it's got some windmill areas so it'd be quite nice for the kids to see that kind of thing. And then I think as you go further up, it's got more sort of foresty areas and yeah, it should be good. So we're gonna spend the day there, come back and depending on how long it takes us, we might come back and either have dinner, go to bed, um, we might have dinner there, it just depends on how long it is. But it doesn't look like it's a massive place and there's this really cool causeway that you can walk across called I think it was Le Gois, um, that you can walk across um, dependent on the tide times and it stays slightly shallow water so you're just walking through the sea. It looks really, really nice. So yeah, that is the plan for today. Um, another good night's sleep. Toby woke up a bit cold in the night but other than that, slept really well. Um, Tomorrow the plan is um, to go, I have a meeting with the tourist board in the morning to find out a bit more about the area and then in the afternoon we're going to the dino park which is literally just a stone's throw away so could not be more perfect for Tobe. dinosaur park aren't we and it only took us about five minutes to get here didn't it yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? and what dinosaurs have you seen already flying uh, tails yeah uh, a brachiosaurus yeah and i think it's a t-rex oh, are you excited yeah let's go and have a look then shall yeah. we <laughs> are you crazy daddy <laughs> Wow, this is epic.
little guy. Edie, are you having fun? Yeah. Are you living your best life? Yeah. Did you see all the big dinosaurs? Yeah. Which was your favourite? Um, no, we really, because they were scary. Were they scary? Was it scary with the men in the cave? <gasps> yeah. Yeah, but do you like the bouncy castles? Yeah. Yeah, go on then, off you go. of Orange today which is a massive safari park pretty epic by the looks of it they've got elephants tigers lions they've even got a dolphin show so we're just about to go into the walkthrough bit English map lots of English speaking which is really really helpful I've come to the conclusion that British people are the only ones that are really really ignorant and just don't bother to learn anyone else's language which um, is a ball ache but pretty useful that everybody else is less of a twat and learns the language um, because then they can help you out when you don't have a clue what you are doing so we've got the walkthrough bit first we're going to go to the dolphin show to start with because that's at 11 30 and 3 30 and then we're going to do the drive through safari which thanks to the fact that the french are slightly less um interested in health and safety than we are with our British ways we're allowed to roll down the windows and throw food at the zebras and just so long as we're aware that they bite and attack and we're allowed to feed the giraffes too so yeah pray for our fingers
could be the best thing in your life. Maybe let's take a drive, take a drive. Baby, baby, I think that's how you pronounce it. Basically, it looks really awesome. It's like lots of um, machine animals and different things to explore and all about mechanics and stuff. And then we're gonna have a look around the city. I'm gonna eat my body weight in croissants and pain au chocolat because uh, you don't get this physique without working for it. Mm -hmm. One tip that you might actually find really useful, if you come to France and you drive, because I know a lot of us Brits do, um, then the multi-storey car parks in Nantes are mm, terrifying. Um, really tight, bollards along the bottom instead of the top, and then you have to go through these passageways, which is a good thing because it stops people from um, speeding their way down and maybe knocking over one of the stocks but absolutely flipping terrifying if you have a big car like I do. So be aware that the multi-story car park will make your ass clench. You're welcome.
the elephants say? Toot toot! Okay. 